Hey, Colt fans, Justin Baldini, Director of Marketing for Colt here. This week on Topic Tuesday, we're going to talk about 1911 lubrication. This is like a, an internet uh, controversial subject, apparently. So we're going to, uh, we're going to really tell you how we do it here and uh, hopefully put it to bed. So before we get started, let's just talk a little bit about what lubrication to use. This is CLP. It stands for Clean Lube Protect. Um, this is made by Lucas Oil. Uh, what it means is that it's actually got a solvent in it to be able to, to sort of do a one uh, sort of a one stop uh, clean and lubrication. Um, I do I do actually use CLP quite a bit when I'm at home and I'm you know doing a full detail strip of the firearm and I'm actually clean kind of cleaning everything out, which honestly doesn't happen that often. Um, but when I'm actually just going out to the range to shoot, uh, I prefer just the straight gun oil. So this is uh, Lucas Extreme Duty Gun Oil. Um, what I like the most about this is actually just sort of the, the package that it's in, these applicator tips. Uh, it's very precise. Um, you can see, I mean, even versus the CLP bottle, trying to actually lubricate a firearm using like a, a, a fire hose is, um, is not going to really go well. So... Um, the applicator tips are, are perfect for lubing a firearm, uh, especially when you're at the range. Keep, keep these around, kicking around in the range bag. Um, on the 1911, it's actually really simple. Um, there's, there's three places primarily that need to be lubricated. One is the barrel hood. What that means is where the barrel itself uh, interfaces with the slide up here. So... Um, what I like to do usually on that is pull the pull the uh, slide back about an eighth of an inch, uh, just so that it unlocks, and then uh, and then maybe two drops of lube in there, two three drops of lube in there. The next place is going to be the barrel bushing itself, so the the bushing uh, where the barrel impacts it. Um, if you pull this back uh, about an inch, um, and you just put maybe two, two, three drops of lube right there, and then just run it around the, run it around the end of the barrel with your finger. That's it. That's perfect. And then last but not least is the rails. Now, I think people generally speaking tend to over lubricate the rails. I think generally speaking, you know, there's, uh, there's all this internet debate about grease and, uh, whether or not that's better than oil. Um, you know, as somebody who goes out and actually shoots uh, quite a bit, and I'm, I'm not storing these things in a condition where uh, necessarily they're they're uh, going to be stored long term or anything like that. Uh, what I do is I'll just take uh, again two, three drops per side on the rails, and then just uh, just run that slide on the frame a little bit. Generally speaking, that's about it. That gun right there is lubricated with, you know, maybe eight drops of oil, and it's good to go for all day of shooting. If I'm if I'm somewhere where I'm going to shoot, especially if I'm shooting multiple days and I'm shooting all day multiple days, what I might do is relube just like that at lunchtime. So um, let's say I'm somewhere where I'm shooting five, six hundred rounds a day. Uh, at lunchtime, I've been through, you know, 200, 300 rounds. I'll just, again, give it a couple more drops. Um, generally speaking, the issue is is lack of lubrication. Generally, it's not, well, you lubricated it wrong or you lubricated it with the wrong oil. I think a lot of time people sort of chase uh, the right oil um, versus just, you know, just lubricating the thing in the first place, uh, you know, making sure that there's oil on it in the first place. So there you have it, Colt fans. That's how you lubricate your 1911 when you're going out to the range to do some shooting. Make sure you leave us some comments below so we've got some more topics for next week's Topic Tuesday.